Hi everyone, welcome to Hosai's ROS driver and SDK tutorial videos. In this video, I will show you how to use ROS driver. In most cases, you would like to see Point Cloud published in ROS system from a connected LiDAR. First, connect the LiDAR to your computer and configure the internet, as was described in our previous video. Make sure the LiDAR is connected and receiving Point Cloud packets. The next step is to download the general ROS project and compile it. Open browser and go to Hosai's official GitHub page. Hosai LiDAR general ROS project is the ROS driver for the latest LiDAR models. Pander 40 ROS project is for the older Pander 40 model. Open Hosai LiDAR General ROS project. Here you can see the project introduction. To compile and run the ROS driver, you need a Linux system with ROS installed. We recommend two popular system setups. In other system setups, you may need to modify the code. First, use command to install the required libraries. Input Y to continue. Then install Catkin tools. Input Y to continue. Then follow the instructions to download code. Here's my current path. Make a new directory and go to the new directory. Clone the project into the directory. Go to upper folder, Catkin config. And then Catkin build. This may take a while. Project has been successfully compiled. Let's go to the configuration step. Open launch file to check the configuration. Keep the PCAP file empty when you want to receive point cloud from a connected LiDAR. Set the correct LiDAR IP address receive port and GPS port. You can find this information from the LiDAR webpage. Server IP is the LiDAR's IP address. LiDAR receive port is the LiDAR destination port. And GPS port is the GPS destination port. Start angle is for the user to set at which angle our ROS driver publishes the point cloud of the whole frame. Any angle from 0 to 360 degrees can be used. But if you're using the FOV function, make sure to set the start angle within the FOV angle range. Otherwise, nothing will be published. LiDAR type is the LiDAR model type. We can leave it empty here and set it later in the launch command. Leave the PCL data type and LiDAR correction file as default. Now let's run the ROS driver. In the ROS workspace directory, Run source command first. I'm using the Pander64 model, so I'm selecting the launch command for Pander64. Choose the correct launch command corresponding to the LiDAR model you're using. Run the command to launch driver. Driver is receiving data from LiDAR and published point cloud when you see the screen print. You can open your terminal and use the ROS topic list command to check topics. Point Cloud is published under the Pander ROS topic. Use the ROS topic echo command to see the ROS message content. Frame ID is the same as the LiDAR model type. In my case, it's Pander64. Now we can launch RVs to see the point cloud. Click Add, 
and then click Buy Topic. Choose Point Cloud 2 under the Pander Topic. Change the fixed frame to your ladder model type. In my case, it's Pandar 64. Now you can see the point cloud. You can also change the settings under Point Cloud 2 to have different views. Alright, that's all for this video. See you in the next one.